Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, let y equals y of x be the solution of a differential equation which is given to us as dy over dx is equal to two times y plus 2 sin x minus 5 into x minus 2 cos x such that y of 0 it's given to me as 7. Then the question is further asking me to find out what is y of pi equals to. So we have to find basically at x equals to pi what is the value of y and if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here the options are 2 e raised to pi squared plus 5. The second answer choice we have been given is e raised to pi squared plus 5. The third answer choice 3 e raised to pi squared plus 5. And the last answer choice we have been given here is 7 e raised to pi squared plus 5. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Let's solve this question and find out the correct answer. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you and it motivates me to do better and make as many more videos as possible. Let's see the solution for this question now. So I have been given the differential equation already with me. I use that idea. First, dy over dx is equal to 2 times y plus 2 sin x minus 5 into x. So y plus 2 sin x minus 5 into x minus 2 cos x. So if I multiply here, I get 2xy plus 2x into 2 sin x minus 5 minus 2 cos x. So if I'm using the idea further, I'll take 2xy on the other side. So that gives you dy over dx minus 2xy equals to 2x into 2 sin x minus 5 minus 2 cos x. So we have this entire thing. Now if I see here, and compare it with my differential form of equation, which is dy over dx plus py equals q. So from here, if I compare, I get p is minus 2x. q is 2x into 2 sin x minus 5 minus 2 cos x. So I have p and q with me. Now let's find the integrating factor from this idea. So I know integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx which is basically e raised to integral p in this case it's known to us that it is minus 2x dx so i get e raised to minus 2 integral of x is x square over 2 so you get this so this 2 and 2 cancels you get e raised to minus x square so i have my integrating factor already with me which is e raised to minus x square now if i find the solution of this differential equation it gives me y into integrating factor is equal to integral of q into integrating factor into dx plus c. So if I use this idea now, y integrating factor it is given to me e raised to minus x square. Integral of q in this case, if I see it is this entire thing. So 2x into 2 sin x minus 5. minus 2 cos x into if, if is basically raised to minus x square into dx plus c. So further if I try to solve it, I give, get this y e raised to minus x square integral of this entire thing if I multiply e raised to minus x square with both of them, I get this as e raised to minus x square into 2x 
into two sine x minus five minus here I get e raised to minus x square minus two or only two sorry cos x because minus I have taken out only here plus c. So I have to integrate this entire thing. Now if I further try to see here y e raised to minus x square equals integral. If I try to do some adjustments here, I can see that e raised to minus x square I'm writing as it is. And if I take the derivative of minus x square, that basically gives you minus 2x. So instead of 2x, if I'm adjusting minus 2x means I'm multiplying with minus 1. So when I'm multiplying with minus 1, I'm taking a minus sign common here. So if I'm taking a minus sign common here, I should take this 5 ahead and this 2 sin x on the other side. So it basically becomes 5 minus 2 sin x. So basically from this bracket, I've taken out minus sign common. So that gives you 5 minus 2 sin x and that minus sign which I've taken common, I've just put it with 2x. So 2x into minus 1, that gives you minus 2x. And further, if I see minus e raised to minus x square, or I can write this also as with the adjustment as plus e raised to minus x square, and that minus sign I'll give it inside. So it gives you minus 2 plus x plus c. So I get from this solution of differential equation as y e raised to minus x square equals to integral of this entire thing now. So if I see it's e raised to minus x square into derivative of this. So what I understand is if I write 5 minus 2 sin x as it is. So I'm writing 5 minus 2 sin x as it is. And e raised to minus x square into minus 2x. It is nothing but derivative of e raised to minus x square. Plus, if you see e raised to minus x square, again, I'm writing as it is. And if I see minus 2 cos x, and if I see for this expression, if I take the derivative of this expression, it is going to give you 0 minus 2 and derivative of sin x is cos x. So it is giving you minus 2 cos x, right? So if I try to write it in the derivative form again, I can write it using this idea that is derivative of 5 minus 2 sin x. Now, once I have this, I understand basically it is nothing but application of the product rule of derivatives where we have u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. So basically, we are finding the derivative of the product u into v, which is e raised to minus x square into 5 minus 2 plus c. So integral and derivative. So integral, we know it is basically anti-derivative and derivative both of them cancel each other so you are left with y e raised to minus x square is equals to e raised to minus x square and 5 minus 2 sin x plus c so if i differentiate or divide both the sides by e raised to minus x square what do i get here is this cancels this cancels and this goes up and becomes e raised to x square so y is equal to 5 minus 2 sin x plus c e raised to minus x square goes up becomes c e raised to x square. Right. So this is the entire solution of the differential equation that I have here. Now the question. Let's see what is it. So question tells us at x equals to 0, y is equal to 7. So if I see here, at x equals to 0, y is 7. So if I put it here in this expression, I get 7 is equals to 5 minus 2 sine 0 plus c. This becomes e raised to 0. So that gives you 7 is equals to 5. 2 sine of 0, sine of 0 is 0. So 2 into 0 is 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. And c e raised to 0 is 1. So I get c is 7 minus 5, which is 2. So I have my constant of integration as constant of differential equation as 2. Once I have that, if I put it here, this is 2. Now the question further is asking me to find out what is the value of y at x equals to pi. So let's find that. So y at x equals to pi. So at x equals to pi, if I want to figure out the value of y, y is equals to 5 minus 2 sine pi plus c in this case, which is 2, e raised to pi square. So this I'll keep it as it is only 2 times e raised to pi square 
plus. This becomes 5 minus 2 sine pi. Sine pi means you are finding sine of 180 degrees. And if I want to find sine of 180 degrees, I know sine 0 is 0. Sine of 90 degrees, that is pi by 2 is 1. So sine pi after 90 degrees becomes again 0. So this becomes 0. So 5 minus 2, that is basic 2 into 0. So that is basically 5. 5 plus 2 e pi square. So I get the value of y at x equals to pi and that matches with 2 e raised to pi square. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the properties of differential equations to solve the question further. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GWE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.